boxing. I am going to take a YouTube boxing fight, but I do not plan to take boxing on like super professional. I don't see myself as a world champion. I do want to become world champion one day, and I do have aspirations to become world champion, but that requires meticulous hard work and dedication to the sport, which I don't think I'm prepared to do. If I can take one or two belts, I'm happy. WBC, WBA, IBF, I, w I would dedicate my life to taking that shit. I'm, I don't like fuck around with boxing. I put, I work hard. So, I work so hard in boxing. I broke both my wrists, which is stupid, by the way. It hurts right now. Every time I, even I try to box, I'm fine. But when I hit the bag, I feel like I'm fucking dying. And I, I hurt my foot as well off this shit. I feel awfully, awfully wrong and lazy if I don't train. And a lot of guys get that as well. After they've done sports for a while, they, they feel incredibly lazy and tired. Not tired, but like not necessarily lethargic, but they feel like a bum if they don't train. Which I genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, I resonate with. <sighs> Fucking hell, man. Boxing professionally, um, I'm worried about CTE, I'm worried about brain damage. Of course, the, a lot of retired boxers, they're fine after for the most part. And I'm worried about what I could come after. Because they, a lot of athletes like Prince and Seema, Ahmed Hamid, bro, he's an amazing boxer. I don't, like, kudos to him. All these guys, they become like fat or overweight after, and they're kind of just living off the glory of their past, which I don't want to be. I do want to be a YouTuber. I don't want to be. I do want to be a YouTube boxer. I do also do want to be a professional boxer as well. I want to be fighting at a very high level, a very high opponents, especially after seeing the advent of Nayawa anyway. Like Nayawa anyway, he's like, the monster. He's absolutely monster. He's so humble and kind and everything, but in the ring, like, he'll fucking claw you. I literally wanted to learn Japanese just to talk to this guy and that may, might be some geeky shit to you but to me like he's my idol you know what i'm saying my boxing idol he inspired me to like put work back in the, the boxing when i was being i was like i was soft quitting boxing but after seeing that you're anyway it is i was like bro my my fire got reignited in my heart and i desired to fight again i don't want to get abs i don't want to get into, into fire shape after you get abs like after what well, i've seen after you get into shape it's very very difficult to not get in shape like or if you're just maintaining you're doing the workouts twice a week training really hard and then you're eating right i'm doing like nearly all man i'm doing two meals a day um i try two meals a day and once in the evening once in the for dinner and no breakfast sometimes oats for breakfast but for not most part no breakfast i like eating morning start for work i think it's the best thing for work well i eat a big portion I consume sustain my growth a lot of rice, veg, um, meat. I feel very, very high testosterone on this diet. I feel it's a very good diet. I think I've lead a very good life so far. As for boxing, I do want to take a boxing fight. I want to fight some RP if possible, but he's a cruiserweight. I'm five foot six, five foot seven, uh, seventy kilograms. I'm right now. I'm, I lost the weight myself. I'm seventy three kilograms after I ate food. I ate a lot of food. I'm seventy three. So I probably could drop down to seventy one. I am not so happy the weight class. If I by the time because I remember Tristan Tate talking about it, like nineteen he was still growing and twenty my uncle was still growing. So I'm just gonna exercise every single day as much as possible to maximize my growth, drink a bunch of milk, that type of shit. So milk, milk, or milk, don't care, I'll drink it all. As much nutrients as possible in order to maximize my growth so I can be taller and gain more weight. And look my best. Like I want to be five foot nine, five foot ten, five foot eleven. If I'm five foot nine, five foot ten, but if I'm five foot ten, five foot eleven, I'm set on life. I, I don't think this hurts my heart to the core, but I don't think I can get there. I think I can get there with hard work. But if I'm not consciously hard working, like I literally, when I go on runs, I go on ten k's, and I constantly scream to myself, five foot eleven, five foot eleven, five foot eleven. Like, I'm brainwashing myself in order to reach this metric. I would be so satisfied with my life if I reach five foot eleven. I would be so happy. I don't. I don't. I don't think you understand. My father, my biological father, was five foot. I'm already seven inches above my biological thing. My biological father and my biological mother as well. She's like the same height as him. Four foot eleven. I've grown three centimeters. She's, my mom said two centimeters, but I think it's like three. It's one centimeter. Who cares? Like two, three, five centimeters since a year, last year, which is not good. Five centimeters within a year is not good. I should be growing an inch a month. That's 12 inches, no, 12 inches a year, that's quite intense.
But if I can go on each month, I can be a lazy bum after. Like, I don't, I don't mind. Oh, Catch you guys in the next video. Remember, hard work is easy for me. Hard work. I don't know. I can't say it in a way which is quite attractive. <laughs> Catch you guys in the next video. Sign out. Hard work is easy for me. Remember, hard work is easy for me. Hard work is easy for me. No. Brutal determination and consistency. Think about money. Nah. I'm not feeling these. I'm not feeling these. Catch you guys in the next video.